All right, guys. What's going on? Welcome back to another video. We keep the video coming. Thank you very much for everyone that keep watching. I really appreciate it. You guys giving me the energy and the motivation to keep going and just posting and posting and posting. And um, yeah, thank you very much. So we're in the gym right now. I start work at 10. It is right now 10 past nine. I just dropped Karen to school. We're going to smash shoulders. I'm going to take you through a shoulder workout AN fitness style. So I basically going to give myself 45 minutes to smash this workout before I start my shift. We get this amino pump in. As always, amino from Prozi. Feel free to go on the website and use my discount code abios 10 for 10% off. Two scoop. Gonna smash this workout. Like I said, this is end fitness style. So I've been trying my best to just collab collaborate with some of my boys. And when I do so, I let them take the lead over the workout. So this way, because I know they all have different style of training compared to how I train. And then like when we train legs with, I train leg with AD. Um, I train leg with Patrick, which was the last video. Um, so, you know, different approach, different style. Hopefully you guys enjoying those content and maybe at least one person is learning something from it. Um, but yeah, show the workout essential for today in fitness wrist wrap, which we sold out by 2024. They're coming back in stock and the end fitness elbow sleeve got protect those elbows, man, for those heavy press. We currently sold out as well, but 2024, they'll be restocked. So you're going to get this. Amino pump ready. Shake it up. I always have a little sip for tester. Ah, exquisite. it. <laughs> ah, let's go. Let's not waste too much time. Let's go smash this shoulder workout. Let's work. All right, guys. So, as you already know by now, as, as you should know by now, if you've been watching. The last few videos, reference bike workout, which was not the previous video, but the video before that, I always say that this is something that my big brother always showed me, always do some pull-ups as a pre-warm-up whenever I do upper body muscle training. In this case, we train shoulders. So I was doing pull-up. Obviously, it's going to work on the, on the lats, on the back. But we're going to warm up the joints on the elbows, warm up the shoulders, muscle. And then this way, we'll be ready and then we move into our isolation movement all right so three set of pull-ups nice and controlled till failure i'm not going to go too much into this like i said the reference go back to the back workout which was two videos ago feel free to check it out every information is in that episode Nice. Two more sets to failure, and then we're gonna move to the first exercise. Right. Second set, another uh, set to failure. Like I said in the, in the bike workout video, we have different grips. You can do the wide grip, close grip, reverse close grip. I mean, depending on how you know <laughs> your knee, your joints are, you can even do a wide reverse grip. I just like to do a normal wide grip. It's just the most comfortable. Um, grip for me, so find whatever is more comfortable for yourself and just wrap that shit out to failure. <laughs> during lockdown me and my bro Sanjay we used to um, challenge ourselves so we used to do 50 50 push-ups no 50 pull-ups and 100 push-ups I tried to see how fast we could do it 
I think the goal was to do it in under five minutes, I think it was, or something like this. You know, during lockdown, we were, because obviously the gym were closed. So to be able to do something like push-ups and pull-ups, you know, if you were fortunate to have a pull-up bar, like I was, you know, after you do like 50 push-ups uh, pull and 100 push-ups, you were pumped. This was a try. This was a try. 50 push-ups, 100 pull-ups. I keep mixing both of them. 50 pull-ups, 100 push-ups. Try it. You can take as many breaks as you can or as you want. Try it. Let me know how long it took you. All right. Let me know how long it took you. Last set. Let's go. Oh. Oof. 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 Oh. 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 All right, no time to waste. Let's move to the first shoulder exercise. All right, guys. So the first exercise we're going to do, we're going to do a, a face pull with a rope for the rear delt. So if you want to have a complete shoulder, you need to understand the three different areas you need to work on. Front delt, side delt, rear delt. For majority of people, including myself, the rear delt is the weakest one of the three. The front delt is usually the strongest because when you do something like, when you do chest, your front delt are involved a little bit, so they get, you know, overwork, if you want to put it this way. So, I always love to start with rear delt first because it's just a, it's actually a small part compared to the other two. I mean, the side delt and the front delt is way bigger, you know, than the rear delt. So, I like to start it at the beginning when I'm fresh, when I have full energy, and I can really, really hammer that real that properly, make sure that it's nice, pump, and it's burning. And then what you notice as well is that, you know, I will do another real that at the end of the workout, a different movement. So we're going to start with this one. Instead of actually doing it while I stand, while standing up, I'm going to do this exercise while, while I'm sitting down. So the reason why, you know, is I always try to find ways to perform an exercise with less cheating and using less momentum. So for example, when you're standing up, when the weight gets heavier, it's easy to just use your legs to like try to bring the weight towards you. Whereas when you sit down, you have a more strict form. It's literally just the arm going, arm pulling towards forward, backward. You know, your lower body is not involved in the movement, which means that you get to have more focus on the real delt, more focus, more pump, more gains, better results. Hope that makes sense. So we're going to do three working sets, um, anything between 15 to 20 reps. Once again, isolation movement, I love to do a high level of reps on that. But the 15 to 20 reps need to feel like I'm close to failure, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, we're going to do three working sets. I'm going to do a couple of warm-up sets for maybe six, seven reps. Increase the weight until I reach a working set. And then we start working. So, as we bring the weight down. And this way, you just literally want to bring it. I try to bring it like on my nose level. And I just bring it here. And I can really feel the rear there. I'm going to try and keep a straight form as possible. Let it stretch as high as I can. And then just bring it down. And you really feel the, the rear there. Burn. <laughs> All right, so that was a nice warm up. That was quite light, just to make sure that you know the warm up as well is not just a way to warm up the muscle. Yes, it's the warm up the muscle, but you also use that opportunity to make sure you find the right placement. So this way, when it's time to do the working set, you're not still looking for the perfect, you know, <laughs> basically the perfect comfort for you to exercise and uh, to exercise that set. So for example, when you do a, a bench press on the Smith machine, you need to adjust yourself on the bar, use the warm up to make sure you find the right adjustment. So this way, when you come to the working set, you're ready to go. Same on that. So use the warm up set to make sure where the best fit placement is, to make sure you have a full control of the movement. Once you find it, remember that, increase the weight to the working set, and there we go, all right? So we're gonna increase the weight. 
and we're going to do anything between 15 reps minimum, 20 reps maximum. But the 15 reps, if I do 15 reps minimum, it needs to feel like, okay, I couldn't do more. If I reach 20 reps, it needs to feel like, okay, this is either failure or close to failure. Okay? So we're going to rest for a few seconds and then we're going to go. So all about control on this one. We're going to try and hold it for two seconds and then let it go full control. It's going to burn, but that's what you want. Okay, let's go. So, I say you gotta hold it for two seconds each reps, but as soon as you feel like you can't do any more, forget the two seconds and just rep as many as you can, but also try to stay still as controlled as possible. So, I think we did well 16, 16 reps. I couldn't do more. We're gonna keep the same weight. And then on the last set, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do, um, if you remember the back workout, if you haven't watched it, feel free to go to the back workout. We're going to do the same thing that I normally do on the lat pull down. So on the last working set, I'm not going to reduce the weight. I'm just going to rest for 10 seconds instead of 15, or like within the pull ups. Rest for 10 seconds, rep the same weight as many as possible. We're not going to pause. We're just going to rep it out and then rest five seconds and then just rep as much as possible. All right. So you can still two more work sets and then the special drop time set. <laughs> Now the drop weight set. All right. Woo. Okay. Try not to talk too, 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 too much. Um, I'm still looking at the time. Make sure that I finish on time before I start my shift. So, second set. We're going to try for 15 reps minimum again. Keep it the same weight. Come on. on fire god that's what i meant about about the difference between doing this sitting down and doing this standing up because when you do this standing up the last few reps are it's burning and you're feeling tired when you do that standing up easily it's easy to just get your leg involved to help you to because i'm telling you if i was standing up i probably have done more 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 reps because like i said you easily forget that it's a real bad movement don't involve your legs and then you do the mistake of involving your legs and then you're happy because you're doing more reps but then you're losing the, all the focus on the actual muscle you're supposed to work on whereas when you're doing sit down your legs are not involved it forces you to have a stricter form stricter form you hit the muscle that you actually try to hit better you get better results so you know always try to find a way that i'm not saying doing this standing up is not good it's good but if you know that you can easily get carried away and use your leg to do a muscle that doesn't need your leg to be involved find another way 
you know, same like we did on the bike workout. Once again, if you to check out the bike workout video, when I was doing the straight up pull down, I did it. I did it in this position. So this way I then use my leg to try and bring the weight down. So always try to find an alternative way that will allow you to perform the exercise even better with a better focus for you, you know, because at the end of the day, you want to make progress. You know, it's not just about lifting big numbers. You want to make sure that those big numbers that you lift goes with the result that you're getting, you know. There's no need to lift big numbers in the form of shit and you're making no gains and you tell yourself, man, I'm so strong, I'm lifting so heavy. Why am I not building muscle? Because you're not lifting properly. So find ways that will allow you to lift properly. This one's going to be a killer. Last working set. And then we're going to rest for 10 seconds. Rep as many as we can. R rest for five seconds. Rep as many as we can. This is going to be a killer. But it's going to be good. All right. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, fuck. All right. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Oof. 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 Ooh. Ah, fuck. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Ah. Ah. Woo. <laughs> oh, man, that was good. That was good. Great way to start the shoulders. We are there, pump. Probably tell you're probably thinking, well, just doing no more drop that set. I don't know, you have to make your workout fun. You have to enjoy the workout. I do drop that set for certain things, like leg extension, for example. You know, I can do a drop that set on this the same way I can do the same approach on the leg extension. Do what is fun for you, but that's still gonna get your result. I like to switch up. One week, I'm gonna do a drop that set focus. The other week, I'm going to just do it with the time, which I just drop the time. I keep the same way. At the end of the day, it's all about enjoying the process. And I'm loving it right now. So, we're going to move to the second exercise. Let's go. All right, so next exercise, we're going to do another isolation movement. Uh, we're going to do a side raise cable, one arm side raise. You're going to do anything between 12 or 15 reps. Once again, high level of reps on those isolation movements before we move to a pressing movement. And on this one, we're going to do, we're going to raise and we're just going to try and control as slow as we can on the way back. The hold, and we don't want to, what we're going to do, we're not going to bring it all the way here. We're going to try and stop it just before we get to our leg. So this way, we keep the shoulder on the tension the whole time, all right? So I've already done some warm-up sets. We're going to go straight to free working set, 12 to 15 on each side. Nice and control. When you, when you stop just there, when you bring it here, it's almost like you're resting a little bit because you're like, 
it gives you the momentum to try and swing all the way up. When you step over here, the shoulder is under tension. So it's almost like doing a dead stop. You're stopping and you're starting from the hardest point. All right, we're going to do the same for the other side. Control each, each rep. Yeah. Oh. Ah, fuck. Woo. All right. You okay? <laughs> okay. So we're going to keep we're going to keep the same weight. We're going to do two working set, two more working set. All right. The thing is that there's always one side, based on my experience anyway with myself or even with clients, there's always one side that's kind of in balance compared to the other. Or there's like one side that's stronger than the other. Doing some isolation movement or even, you know, some pressing movement where you're just doing one arm focus at a time allows you to give equal attention to the muscle. So for example, when you do a shoulder press with a barbell, whether it's a Smith machine or the barbell, right? When you get tired, you notice there's one side that push more than the other. The side that push more than the other is usually your strongest side. It's the biceps. Is that all right? Come, man. Yo, I didn't realize that you're feeling. You good? The biggest biceps in wearing, bro. Ah. So we train. <laughs> sorry, sorry that I nah, it's all good. Don't worry about it, man. Um, so when you're pressing, there's always one side that push more than the other in the last few reps, that's when you know that side that push more is the strongest side. So if you want to try to reduce that imbalance between the, both sides, exercises like this where you just do one, one side at a time, you know, like I said, allows you to build, to reduce the gap between the right and left, wherever is your strongest side. You can do the same thing for legs. That's why I love to do single leg extension, single leg press, single leg curl, leg curl. just allow me to just give the opportunity for each side to have a chance to, you know, get as strong as each other. You know, you want each side to be like Goku and Vegeta, you know, quite almost equal. You know, you don't want to be one side Goku, the other side Yamcha. It doesn't go, man. <laughs> Second set, let's go. We keep it the same weight. As you can see, as you saw the first set after 12 reps, 10 reps, it was quite hard to do. So there's no need to increase the weight. Keep it the same. Here we go. Ah. Oh. Wow. Wow. God, come on. Wow. Woo. All right. All yours. Oh. 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 Good. Guys, one more set and then we move to the next one. The next one, you're going to do some pressing. Ideally, I want to do a high incline on the Smith machine press. But we'll see. If it's not free, we just, we just use an alternative, we see. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, it's all right, don't worry. <laughs> Last 
working set. Keep going. Wow, oh, come on. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, come on. Ooh. 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 I am done. You can have this side. I hope I'll catch some gains from you. Huh? I hope I'll catch some of your gains. I'm not that monster over here. You are a monster, bro. Next movement, we're moving to a pressing. Ideally, I wanted to use the Smith machine. To, I usually do like a high incline Smith press, but it's being used. So, Always try to have a plan B or even a plan C. So this way, you don't spend your time walking around, you know, looking for what to do next. So you already know, okay, if this is not free, you know what to, where to go next. Whether it's to use a machine, whether you want to go and use dumbbells or whatever. We always have a plan, you know, in case if the primary plan is not available. All right, so on this one, on the pressing, we're going to do anything between 8 to 12 reps. We're going to go some heavy pressing. And um, I mean, I, I used to be able to do five plates on that. Obviously, I'm not aiming to do that. I'm just going to go as heavy as we can and just wrap it out. If it's too light, it's a warm up. If it's heavy enough, just going to continue our wrapping. As always, we want to make sure that everything is nice and controlled. I try to bring the seat all the way down for me. But at the end of the day, all I'm focused about is just, I just want to press. I'm not interested in trying to bring the bar all the way down and then push. Now, so from here, that's the starting point, all right? Because even when you do a dumbbell military press, you don't bring the dumbbells all the way here. You know what I mean? You stop here. So if, we, if I move the dumbbell press movement to this machine, that's the same as here, all right? So always try to adjust based on your height and your comfort as well. Okay. All right. So that was light. We're gonna add another plate. No time to waste. No time to waste. Uh, free plate next. Nice and control. Lift that shit. Push that shit. <laughs> Make some gains. Be strong. Get stronger. I'm just talking to myself and I'm just saying shit. <laughs> I'm just saying a lot of nothing right now. Only got a few minutes left. All right. Let's see how this goes. So when you're pressing as well, you don't want your bike to be fully flat. You know, that's just, you're going to put a lot of um, pressure on your, on your lower back and your spine. So I'm trying to like arch as well. That's similar to if I was doing the bench press. I just arch. But this will take a lot of pressure off my spine and my lower back. And I can press without feeling any discomfort or any pain. about this machine that I like is that once I cannot do the rep in up down up down I can just stop reset push stop reset push with the Smith machine I can't do that once it doesn't go I just re-rack it so you know there's a lot of um, benefit from using the machine it's not the same way there's a lot of benefit from using the Smith machine as well 
Woo. We're going to do two more sets. We're going to keep the same weight. No need to go heavier. There's no need. I still remind myself that I'm still recovering. This is the end of week six of recovery. I still got another six weeks to go. Uh, second set. By the way, rocking the high kai t-shirt. Easily, I'll say easily the most popular drop we ever dropped was the Akai collection. Every collection we dropped was successful in terms of people buying and supporting, but the Akai collection, that was a game changer for anything as clothing. But next year, we're not dropping any new collection. We're not dropping nothing next year. We're going to do something different. I'm going to make a separate video for that. But if you like the t-shirt, it's available on the End Fitness Clothing website in black and white. Akai, basically, is all about blocking negativity from other people and especially negativity within yourself. But sometimes it just starts in our mind. It's impossible. I can't do this. I can't do that. As cliche as you say, it sounds, can't remove the T, say I can, just a question of time. You know, take your time, enjoy the process. Why rush? Let's go, set number two. That was good. That was good. One more set. One more set. Make sure you drink a lot. I mean, you don't have to have like an amino pump or BCA or things like this. That's just, that's just um, luxury, if you want to put it in a way. If you can afford it, you pray. If not, drink a lot of water, man. All right, last set, last set, last set. This is how I train when I don't have a lot of time. If you were doing shoulders on a Saturday or Sunday where I have more time, it would be a lot different. So when you plan your own workout, try to plan according to the time that you have available and also based on the time you come into the gym. So actually in the morning is the least busiest time. So I know some equipment 90% of the time will be free. 90% of the time. If I was to train at 6 p.m. during peak time, I'd have to like adjust a little bit. Like you have, to, you know, because I don't think you don't want to spend, you don't want to come to the gym and spend more time looking for equipment than training. So plan according to the time you have available and plan according to the time that you come in the gym as well. <laughs> Two more. Last one. Woo! Oh. All right, that was good. That was good. We're going to move to the last exercise. We're going to do some real depth to finish the workout. Last exercise before we go. I'm a bit over time. I'm going to give it for myself another two or three minutes. I'm going to finish with some real deals again. We're going to do some bent over, 
fly. So as I do, I'm not just bringing it. Uh, I'm trying to bring it a bit backward as well. So really working the rear depth and also get a bit of traps involved as well. So I'm only using 15 kg. Don't do anything between 15 and 20 reps. And then this is it. That's the workout done. And then we're going to check the pump. Quick 45, 50 minute workout. No time to waste. Get the job done. So work on the side delt, work on the press, work on the rear delt. At the end, that's the full free area of the shoulder I worked on. Let's go. I'm trying to do the rest very minimum at this time, just because I'm trying to rush a little bit. But this way I can get changed, eat, and start my shift. Woo. Let's go. Yeah. 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 I think I did 14 or something. Woo! It's a bit harder the second set because the rest was very small. We'll rest for a few more seconds and then we're going to finish. If you have any back issue, obviously I won't recommend doing this, but you can do that on the bench, on the incline bench. Just lie on the bench and just do the same movement with the bench. It will give you the support and you have less pressure on the back. That's what I used to do when I used to have a very, very big back pain. And I couldn't do exercises like this. And the exercises that uh, required me to bend over like barbell row, T-bar row, and things like that. Woo! All right. Very basic workout. In and out, 45 minutes, 45, 50 minutes. No time to waste. God. Let's go. Last set. I don't know how many I'm going to do on this one. Ah, fuck. I couldn't do any more. Ah. All right, guys. Time for the reveal. Let's check the shoulder pump. So, like I said, I had very small amount of time to train. And a normal shoulder day, I'll probably do a bit more. And sometimes I actually do traps at the end of the shoulders. But, like I said, you have to plan based on your situation, based on the time that you have available, and things like that. So, doing something is better than nothing. So, don't think that even if you only have 30 minutes work out 30 minutes to train and you can only do three exercises it's fine three exercises four times a week is better than zero exercises do you know what i mean so as long as you make every exercise count it's cool you're all good but whoa 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 wait a minute wait a minute show the pump Ooh, well, you know what? Let me change the angle so this way you can see, can see a little bit better. I don't know. Maybe I need to change a bit of the lighting. Let me set that up a little bit. Okay. All right. I think this is much better. Okay, so you can see the shoulder pump, front delt, side delt. And then you can see the separation between the side delt and the rear delt. So that's what you want. So just with those basic movements, Start with some pull-ups, um, face pull, rear delt, then we did some cable lateral raises for the side delt, then some press, then the overall shoulder development, and then finish with another